recording. So welcome everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop number 42. Today is April the 6th, 2023. So as I mentioned a little earlier, um, we are talking about, um, there, there's a hand behind me is because we are talking about really um, activating our hands for, for healing. We have talked about using uh, like um, pulling in dimensional energies for for healing because um, we use dimensional healings because they are more they are higher frequency so they work faster whereas if we just use our normal three 3d um, healing then it, it's rather slow and when we can tap into the the higher dimensions healing and be able to channel in to do the healing, it actually speeds up the, the healing process. So we are going to build on that tonight to, to talk about how to bring those diff different dimensional um, frequencies into our hands and use our hands for healing. And so that is the, the, the main topic for this evening. Um, we're going to talk about 17 inch. So I mentioned um, a couple of weeks ago that eight inches is and, and below is just really 3D. And, and between six, so 16 inches is 4D and 32 inches is the fifth dimension. So um, those are gateway those are gateway um so the 16 the 8 the 16 and the 32 they are the gateway kind of inches however between the the gateways though there are other layers of um, energies so we're going to talk about three particular layers the 13th inch which is within the um fourth dimension So at 13 inch, we're gonna um, expand on that. It, that's where our light body is. And I'll talk about you know, what, what a light body is a little later on. And then we're gonna also talk about the 17th inch. 17th inch is um, a, it's in the, it's considered the, the uh, fifth dimension within the fifth dimension layers. And the 17th inch is really a um, layer of energy where we can do um, DNA repair. So if we activate our hands with the 17th inch energy, then we can start to heal ourselves. And also the 23 inches as well. 23 inches, um, what's in that layer of energy is really our DNA blueprint. So we'll talk about how to make use of all these three layers of energies to heal ourselves. Pretty much, um, we can do quite a, quite a bit with just those three layers of energies. So before we go any further, we're gonna, um, as usual, do our presence meditation so we can all get to a point where we can really be present and be able to take in the rest of the information easier and retain and use them easier as well. So let's just do that, the presence meditation. So just keep, make yourself comfortable and take in a deep breath. Use your nose to breathe in slowly and deeply. And then breathe out slowly and deeply as well. And again, breathe in deeply. And breathe out 
deeply. One more deep breath in. And breathe out deeply and slowly. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is still comfortable for you. Use your breath. Your breath is always with you. So use your breath. Use your breath to allow your body to start to relax. As you breathe in, imagine that you are breathing in infinite possibilities. Whatever it is that your body needs in this moment, bring it in. And as you breathe out, let go of anything and everything that does not support your body in this moment. So just do a few more rhythmic breathing and use this time to allow your body to get out of the fight or flight response. Just come back into being relaxed, calm, And when you feel your body beginning to be able to relax, you then with intention, call back all of your energy, all of your attention, all of your power. We give our attention, we give our power, away throughout the day, a lot of the times without even being conscious that we are doing it. In this moment though, call all of your attention back. Call all of your power back to yourself. And be absolutely selfish. Just focus on yourself in this moment, come into this moment, be here with yourself in this moment, 100%. Be completely present with you with your body. And continue to use your breathing to assist you in getting present with yourself. As you become more present, you will feel it as a shift. You actually feel the energy within your body becoming stronger. You feel that there is substance right here, right now, within your body. And when you feel that, then you can come all the way back 
into the room and open your eyes when you're ready. So welcome back everybody. Welcome, welcome back. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, to talk about 17 inch. Just to let you know that um, like from, so what, what do I mean by 17 inch? The, so eight inches above a head, that's a gateway. However, it's not just above a head. It's eight inches all around our body. So it's, it's this, these layers of frequencies, layers of energy is um, when we, we think of it as it's all around us, layers and layers of energy. Uh, I think the analogy is like an, an onion. And think of that, this, this is a very specific onion where each layer is one inch. Does it have to be exactly one inch? No, not really. Sometimes they are not quite exact. However, each layer all around our body, um, there are different frequencies or different um, use for each of those layers. So that's what I mean by 17 inch or whatever the, the, the inches are. So that's, those are the layers of energies that we have access to. Now there are infinite layers of energies. I'm just gonna talk about three layers this evening. And just with these three layers, we can already do a lot. So the 17 inches. Um, <clears throat> so before I do the 17 inches, because I'm going to activate, um, talk all of you through how to activate your hands to access that 17 inch energy. However, before we do that, we have to activate our hands. So just rub your hands together. Just just begin by just making sure that your hands, are, your palms are activated. And when you pull them apart, just feel the energy between. So don't try to make it to be any particular distance. Just, just pulse your palms in and out just to feel the energy between your palms. Okay, so now let's, let's try 17 inches. Let's try, try 17, oh, actually let's, let's try 10 inches. So 10 inches, activate 10 inches. You usually find that if you activate that, then your, your palms kind of um, would go to that extent. So it can't, it won't collapse to like two inches. If you say 10 inches, then it will kind of stop roughly around the 10 inches. And just feel what's between your palms, feel that energy between your palms. And now let's rub our hands together again. <clears throat> so we can, so next we're gonna try the 17 inches. So 17 inches. 
they're just 17 inches. Anybody feel any difference between those two energies? I find the 10 inch was more dense. And when I go to the 17, it's lighter. Yep, that's one thing too. Um, so let's try a different way. So 17 inch, but this time have one palm, like we are doing vertically. So have one palm on top and the other one below and just now activate 17 inches. 17 inches. What do you feel? I feel it's like nice gravity. Like like I can I can feel them. The, like they're very attached. It, the energy is faster. Like the feeling wise, it's before it was less. Now it's even faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That's one thing about the um, particular about the seventeen inch is that it um, it when you really activate it. Yeah, I need to actually rub it <laughs> to, to really feel more of it. Activate my palms. So what I feel when I really do that was that the 17 inch, um, the palm that is below, there is, it's like there is something that pull the, the lower, um, up to the upper palm. Yes, so you is, have to. There like is you a, have to hold it, but if you let it go, then yeah, slowly it, just, go, it will slowly yes. come up. But mm -hmm. if you do the 10 inch though, if you do the 10 inch, just try activating the 10 inch. See if that happens. 10 inch. I, I don't feel that. Yes, you don't. But the the top uh, for myself, the top is a little bit coming down. But like I have to, it's the bottom uh, palm is very solid on a ten inch. the The top one it can go a little higher, like it can bounce back a little touch. Okay, but not by much. No, not by much, but there is little movement, yes. Yeah, so that is the difference between 10 inch and a 17 inch. So um, so the, the usage of the 17 inch, because it has this kind of sucking action, mm -hmm. is that it actually, that's the, the, the power to get rid of things like pain, or like reset that kind of things with the 17 inch because it does have that sucking action. Vacuum, vacuum action, okay. So that's that's why the 17 inch um, is, is used for it. It is really to um, release, reset, Whatever it is that is um, <clears throat> ill, it could, I, I guess, illness would be the most general term I can use. So um, we, when we are, when we were in uh, a place where we can play with one another, like to in in a room together, then we can 
actually try to do that, but because we are <laughs> online right now, so that's a little tricky. It's okay, you can travel to my place, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> not, not tonight though, not, not right now. <laughs> Not right now. However, so I just want to introduce the the seventeen inch energy, the seventeen inch energy. That's the the use for it. It's really to do healing work. And when you activate <clears throat> your palms into the seventeen inch, then that's what you can do with it. So. What can you do when you are just on your own? That's when the other layers come in, okay? Uh, oh, actually, one more thing I wanna talk about, the palms. Um, actually, two more things I wanna talk about, the palms. The palms, the, um, within the palm, there is actually a major um, um, energy center in your palms, and this, like for, for both, both hands, the, 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 the palms within the middle of the palm, it's a major energy uh, center. And this, the, the palm is actually connected to our pericardium. So connected to our heart. And because it energetically, it is connected to our heart. That's why it, um, it does not allow negative energy to go through it. So when you do healing, you don't really have to worry that you are going to suck up some bad things into your palm because whatever it is, it's, it will be transmuted within your palm. Because if we, if we, if we you know, use our palm to do, to do healing work, then actually we'll be sucking up all that, you know, illness into our heart area because this it is relate it is connected to the pericardium so that's why within the energy system the the wisdom that is built in is that it does not allow negative energies to go through it so when you're sucking in as as soon as it's sucking in it transmute that energy so that it is no longer negative Okay, so that's that's the, the the that's the wisdom of how our energy works. Pretty smart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our body, like the uh, our energy system, it's um it's actually a very sophisticated system, and we are just learning just now scratching the, the the surface of the full wisdom of our body <clears throat> and um so because we are just we're each on our own so how do we heal ourselves is i want to introduce the next thing which is the 13 inch so 13 inch um, <clears throat> 13 inch. Oh, okay. The other thing is when you when you're doing these, just be maybe the first time or as often as you feel you need to is to actually measure it. So so you give yourself an idea of what. 17 inch or what 13 inch or we also going to talk about 23 inches as, as well so you have some idea what a uh, 13 inch or those looks like so i have a tape here so 13 inch so if i put the um the beginning in the palm of my hand then actually all the way up to my elbow that's precisely 13 inch so that's how so that gives you some idea of what where 13 inch is away from your body so you just put so I just have to put so so like this so this the length of this part 
the length from my palm all the way to here, that's 13 inch. So you kind of know that that's where the 13 inch is. Okay, so just look, just feel where the 13 inch is. That's actually where our light body is. Okay, so maybe activate your hands again if you don't really feel it as much yet. Activate your hands so your hands will be more sensitive and just feel where 13 inch is and see if you can feel something there. You can actually see it as well. However, you, um, it's not as easy to see it. Uh, I don't have the talent of being able to see it, so I can feel it much better. However, some of you may be able to see energy. So you, you if you just notice around 13 inch uh, outside your body, there is, you can see kind of that. But try to feel that. There's, there's something there. So feedback, anybody feel something there? Yes. Yeah, okay, great. So at 13 inch, that is your light body. So what is a light body? Hello there. Hello. Okay, you, so we're just talking about the light body. So the light body is 13 inches beyond our physical body. So if you measure, if you take a measuring tape, you measure 13 inch. And then, so kind of 13 inch outside of your body, that's where you can start to use your hands to feel there. So we have a physical body. However, the physical body is matter. So meaning that it's made up of um, things that we can actually touch. However, at the 13 inch, there is a, uh, a subtle body that is, we call it the light body, which is an exact replica of your physical body. And it is made up of the more subtle energy. You can feel it. It is an exact replica. So if you're sitting, then your light body will also be sitting. And it's a mirror Im image, which means that it would be facing me, just like when you are looking into a mirror. So for those who can actually see energy easily, you would be able to see the, the no, it has the same shape as you because it is an exact replica. Um, if you want to, to be able to practice seeing it is I would suggest to find a room that is not too brightly lit, maybe um, like a more, not a completely dark room. You need a little bit of light to be able to see it, but not too bright. Yes, because the bright in brightness, you know, like a, a very light room, lit room you won't be well it, it's going to take more practice to see it but if you, you have a dimly lit room um, and if you have a white wall some and you kind of stand stand 13 inches back from it then your light body would be right on the wall and you would be able to start to see something. It actually, it looks like yellowish, golden yellowish color. And it may have other colors as well, but mostly the, the predominant color would be kind of like a, a golden yellow color because it is a light body. Okay. So, 
Can you all feel the light body first? Activate your hands if you're not very, um, if your hands are not too sensitive and then try to feel that light body. And try to do, like try to poke. Because whatever you do to the light body, you can feel it in your own body as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel on me, maybe I just imagine that. I just, I feel it, but very, very light feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. So now if you so remember that your light body is a mirror image. So you so if you want to do anything to the right side like like if like if you have a pain on the right side then you will have to you know use your hand to to do that so it's it's the opposite side because it's a mirror image okay so still that is not too like you you can use the the, the half the 17 inch um healing power and you can you can do that with your hands and then do the healing on your light body and and you you would be able to feel the healing as well so give that a try okay with wherever it is that you feel you have something then um just activate what your if, hands what if i have um low back what should i do you have what what if I have, uh, what if I want to heal low back? What should lower I back. do? Okay, yeah. lower back. I have to go like this? Yeah, it's, it's a mirror image. So it's <laughs> exactly like you only, so, so you would need to, yeah. So first activate your hands with 17 inch energy. Yeah, I think you missed the seven. I, I don't know. Did you hear the 17 inch? What is the 17 inch? Okay, you missed that. So 17 inch is a layer of energy that is a healing energy. So just activate your hands with 17 inch. So put it in your palm. So activate your hands with 17 inch energy. I don't understand what how you activate with 17 inch. So you're just with in, intention. Uh. With intention, just activate your hands with 17 inch frequency. And then you work on the Part of your light body in that you feel something in your body that needs to be improved on, let's say. And see how you feel. How's it going so far? I feel it. That's good. 
That is cool. Eh? <laughs> <clears throat> that is cool. Yes. So that is one way of healing yourself. Using 17 inch. And my hands shaking. Like very light shake. And I feel pain in my wrist. What does it mean? What are you trying to do? <laughs> what are you doing now? <laughs> I'm trying to heal my low back. Okay. So I activate 17 inches, right? In okay. my hands. I place okay. it in my light body. Actually, I started feel, to move. Did you feel anything in your low back though? Yeah. But at the same time, my hands starting to shake. Okay. So the so the um where's the 17th inch? Okay. Okay. Now let's let's um kick this up a notch. <laughs> let's do the 23 inches now. So let me just actually measure this 23 inch. So so 23 inch. Like this. Yeah. So if I put my hand out, it is, it's not at the tip of my, so it is like maybe second knuckle of my middle finger. That's, that's, that's 23 inch. So that at the 23 inch, so around here, at the uh, at this there is another layer this layer is called the dna blueprint so um i've seen it like i actually saw that i i, I saw the light body as well uh, after a long time of practicing i was able to see the the light body and i i saw the uh, <clears throat> 23 inch the dna blueprint so this that layer at the 23 inch um so around here you know on my body it's it has all the frequency all the frequencies of your body um the dna blueprint of your age so what whatever age you're at now then it has all that so it's the the dna so another way of healing is to get the, the the DNA frequencies of your the blueprint meaning blueprint meaning that um, without any illness so it does not have any illness uh, it has no interference because our body we we go through life we have interference and all that so our um, some of our DNA may have been corrupted. But at the 23 inch, it has the blueprint. So it is the, the, um, um, the uncorrupted version of our DNA frequency. So what we can do is get that. So, so, so how do we get it? We can actually go and grab it because it, it is kind of like um, our body as well. But I find that a little... Um, <clears throat> cumbersome so what i do i uh, and what um, sifu james taught us to do because he he always find ways to make it easier for us to do it is to just you know activate your palm so just with intention grab the dna blueprint of the part of your body that you want to fix so what you're getting is the frequency so just with intention, activate your hands with those frequency. So let's say I am feeling um, this past couple of days is allergies. So my thyroid, I find really needs some help. So I'm going to get the thyroid frequency from the 23 inch, the DNA blueprint. And I'm going to activate my, the power of my hand to have that frequency. And really wait until you actually feel something in your palm. OK, 
because it's not just talking about it. You have to make it real. You really feel that it's, it's, there's something there. And, and I don't know about you guys, but I felt something is there. So what I do is I would just put it to within like inch and a half, no more than inch and a half of my body. Because your body has wisdom. So it knows when you put that frequency there, it knows where to take it. For my thyroid, I can actually just put it to my thyroid. But for other parts, I may want to fix my C3 or C4, which is at the back. I couldn't really get to it. So when you get the frequency from the 23 inches, You put it close to your body, your body will know where to um, get the frequencies to. And just feel. Feel your body shifting. I can actually feel something moving around in my thyroid area. Anyone else feel something or not? Not yet? Okay. If not yet, then let's strengthen the 23 inch. Um, let me check. I think 23 inch is, let me just check. Let me just check, 23 inch. Okay, so if you don't feel anything yet, then what we can what we can do is actually just to strengthen our central meridian because we are working with energy. So when we strengthen our internal energy, we actually would be able to feel more. So just to just with intention, breathe in, bring energy down from eight inches above all the way to four inches below your perineum. And on your out breath, bring in energy. 0 0.01 energy, earth energy, from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra. And just do this breathing for a few more times. Strengthen the two major energy pathways in your body.
and just do this until you really feel that your energy system is running strong. Okay, so far so good, everybody. Whenever you're ready, whenever you feel your internal energy running stronger, you feel your Kundalini running stronger, then activate 23 inches your DNA blueprint layer. Okay. And then just also activate your palms. So your palm is more sensitive. And if you want to work with a particular body part, so I'm using thyroid, you can use whatever body part you want to. So just with intention, as for the DNA blueprint of thyroid in my case, to be placed, all those frequencies to be placed in your palm. And really wait until you feel that there is something in your palm. And then you feel that there is something there. And then put the frequency on your palm to within no more than one and a half inch from your body. And just feel that frequency working with your body. How is it this time? I also did turn red. Okay. I didn't feel anything at the beginning, but then all of a sudden I feel that something pushing down, 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 down. I feel that it's 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 really bizarre. I feel it. Something is shifting. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting, eh? <laughs> Wonderful. Um, yeah. Winnie, is it, do you use one palm or two, or does it matter? It doesn't matter. You can use both palms if you, if like, 
you can do that if that is easier for you. Uh, I know uh, Sifu James mentioned that you can use both palms. You can actually see like whatever body part that you're asking for in, in between your palms. But mm. you know, I can't, I, I'm not that gifted in, in terms of being able to see. So I just use one palm. I do it by feeling. So when I feel that there is actually something there on my palm, then I know that the frequencies are there. So do whatever suits you best. Can I ask you a question? Sure. But about previous one. <laughs> Too bad. Too bad, so sad. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so you said that we can put our hands, activate 17 inches and put our hands and we can heal uh, that part of the body. Why we need to heal it on a light body? Why we cannot put our hands on our body? You can do that okay. too, but there there are some um, there what about some area blood? in your body that is just not convenient. Like if it's at the back, then it's not convenient to put your hands. Like it's it's really awkward. Oh, it's only because I cannot reach some part right of my body. Yeah. Uh, so I can do it. Okay. Got can it. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> isn't isn't that our our blueprint is is the original design so we can pick up the perfect yeah thing. we can do that yes, yes. and then That's heal good. it'll be faster than working on the body there's more than one way to heal so i'm just teaching you different ways you can find out which way um, what works best? The the 17 inch, you can, like, if you have, if there are other people, like, if you're working with other people, you can do that. You can, you can just, just put your hand, um, like, above where it is that, you know, that person may feel a little bit of, of pain. You can do that. Um, and, and they, should be able to feel something with working with other people's blueprints or other people's light body you can do it however i would suggest you to <clears throat> it's weird for them <laughs> for people who, who don't do this they you know if you try to tell them that they have a light body, they would like look at you like you're strange. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so um, you can still do it, but just just be more judicial about what you tell them. Like you can still do it, but very um, covertly do it. And I also suggest that you heal yourself first before you try to heal other people. And it also depends on how much um, energy that you have is because um, the when you're accessing your own like body your your own DNA blueprint it's easier but when you try to access somebody else's then you have to really check oh, did I get the right person because with yourself you can tell because you can feel the healing but with somebody else, you you just need to be more careful and you actually got that person's that you actually want to work with that you're getting their, their DNA blueprint, not somebody next to them or that kind of stuff. So just you know, practice on yourself until you know how to do it with your eyes closed and then you can expand it. Thank you, Vinny. Okay, you're welcome. Any other questions? Uh, yes, uh, Winnie, the light body is uh, is surrounding us 360 degrees, yeah? Um, no. So it is an exact replica of your physical body 
So it is like a mirror image. So wherever your body is, that's 13 inch outside, that's where the light body is. So if I'm facing you 13 inch from my body, that's my light body. If I switch direction, then 13 inch. Oh, okay, so when you turn, uh, it's following you. Yeah, it is and following me. Okay. But uh, I suppose that's where we have to reach. Uh, to to be one with the light body and then it's yeah so that's what I suppose ascension is uh, okay <laughs> oh I, I'm just quite I'm just asking I, I have not heard I have not heard about that but that's that's great I look forward to that that, yeah, means, no. that means we expand 13 inches beyond. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. okay. Questions? Thank you. Comments? You all know how to hear yourself now? Yeah. It's interesting. It, it, it's need to be practiced. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, I did feel my, my I felt I, I worked on my liver and I did feel the, the weight in my hand. <laughs> and <Okay>. then <clears throat> I felt, felt a bit some kind of re release in my body. So. I hope I don't have to do the cleansing anymore because <laughs> I was, I, I, I had it in my mind. I have to cleanse my, cleanse my liver out <laughs> with, you know, herbs and. Um, oh my God, I do liver cleanse as well once a year. Um, when yeah. you're doing this, this healing, you have to repeat it a few more times, you know, not, not just once. Mm -hmm. Okay. So repeat it a few more times. I will. Thank you. Okay, great. Everybody happy? No questions? Can you clean your blood? Interesting. I have not thought about it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's good I idea. So sure. then. I, I guess experiment. I would actually, um, so what, which organ cleans the blood? Is it kidney, more kidney, or is it more liver? I would work on the, the liver, right? I, I think it's the liver. Yes, liver. Um, it I, goes to the heart yeah, and come back, the it's the liver. Different. Liver yeah. and the heart liver. is the one, yeah. So then I would definitely um, work on the, the, the liver. Okay. Nini, what about um, immune diseases? Like my sister, she has immune disease. Can she do this? And what she has to get in her hands? Immune. She has problem with her lungs. She cannot breathe. Mm -hmm. And all her organs become harder. It's hardened with the time. Tatiana, I'll share something with you, but uh, I'm not sure that uh, Olga would be willing to help you. There is some alternative therapy in uh, McGill. In, uh, is it McGill in uh, Montreal University? One of the professors successfully treats uh, autoimmune disease. Really? Oh, yes. Yeah. Drug I'll try to get the name. Me. If Yeah, if thank you. She's very secretful, but I know for a fact that that's what happened. Please. I'll try thank to you. get the name. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, please share with us 
so that'll be nice and how about the uh, dr ryan i think in uh, she yeah, will she not is. share with the crowd i may only ask for tatiana and then whatever happens after that it's not my responsibility <laughs> okay the, the uh, dr ryan is he he does the same thing with the medical right all the the physical <laughs> and healing okay yeah, I don't know because I just saw, I heard that from Mas, uh, Shifu. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, any other questions? And uh, okay, so I just want to talk about the the autoimmune. Um, it's a little more complicated because your immune system is not just one organ. It is multiple organs together. For something like that, I would suggest going to seventh dimension. So really go to seventh dimension with that intention, which is what I want to do for our final meditation anyways. So, um, so the seventh dimension you can do cancer and you can do other healing so what you do when you go up to the seventh dimension is to ask for your body to become coherent by the way i'm so grateful every day i doing sixth dimension to heal my emotional body and uh all of a sudden, I start to have energy. You know what? Okay. I, Excellent. Yeah, I feel, I used to feel like in the middle of the days that I cannot move, I have to sleep. I feel like some nervousness inside. And I started to do that sixth dimension. I start to do it every single day. And it's gone. And all of a sudden, I'm in a good mood. And and I have full, I'm full of energy, all fatigue gone. Oh my God, thank you, Vinny. I mean, I love it. Six dimension meditation. Okay, so this time let's go to seventh dimension. <laughs> so, so before we go, just set your intention. Set your intention, what do you want to do? When you go to some dimension, you want to improve your immune. What is it that you want? Okay. But you said that, like, uh, you said that for immune, they have to say that I'm I asking my body to be in coherence for immune, immune disease. But if I want to just improve my immune system, I just say that I want to improve Im improve immune system or how, how do I say? It's not about the words. Forget about the words. What do you want? How do you want your body to function? How do you want to feel? I want to feel good, full of energy. Okay, then that is what you want. The, the seventh dimension energy is um, so when you go to the seventh dimension, you have access to all of your past, present, future experiences. You have all you have access to all versions of yourself, all levels of yourself. So you just have to set that intention. And most importantly is to just ask for coherence because usually when the body is out of coherence, and then the body starts to because part of the body is not functioning properly. So it's out of coherence. That's when like uh, over time, then the body will start to um, you know, become more, the, 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 our cells will become more and more corrupted. And because our cells divide, like it, it, the cells that dies, 
millions, trillions of cells dies all the time, and then they would, uh, and the cells would just reproduce themselves. But when the, the DNA material is corrupted, then you're just getting more of um, corrupted um, organs being replaced. So when you go to the seventh dimension, you ask for the, so have in mind what it is, what the result that you want. And there is intelligence within the seventh dimension because all of you is available up there in the seventh dimension. So you just have to actually choose what it is that you want to feel. And the other parts of you would be able to assist you once you're up there because the, the bigger part of you is already up there. Right, so um, don't worry too much about the precise wording. It's more about knowing the feeling. Knowing what you want. And I think that's more important. Communication. You guys ready? Let's go. Some dimension, right? Yes, thank okay. you. So let's 